CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to power our ultimate PKZ camera from Avalanche Premium Series using PoE adapters and a CAT6 cable. So right now, here's the, this camera. It's a behemoth. It's a pretty large professional positioning camera, which has a wiper in the front. This has 48 times zoom, 4K. Um, coming out of the camera is a pigtail. So this camera, let me kind of show you by going around, has a large pigtail coming out from the corner. And I'm gonna show you now the connections on it as well. It is to be mounted flat on a surface like a rooftop. Make sure you don't put it somewhere where it'll get lightning and stuff. And I've got a lot of connections on the pigtail. And since this is not a POE camera, it comes with its own power supply. I'm not gonna go through all the connections you need to use or can use. I'm gonna show you the only two connections you need to use to get the camera to do what it does. One is this network jack right here, and then the power connection. So the red and black wire, this is DC 36 volts, not 12 not 24 volts, not AC, this DC, it's polarized, red is positive, black is negative. We put this green black terminal on there and then you've got a non-POE RJ45 port. And what I'm doing here is connecting them to a POE adapter. This is a very basic thing. All it does is combines, it lets you combine uh, power and data on one side, mix it inside your network cable and then uh, separate it on the other end. So I'm having it mixed in on here where this connector, the power supply is connecting to the DC connection and then the network connect connector on it, it's a regular RJ45 plug, goes straight into my switch on my router. It's data only, no PoE. Power right here mixes the two together, sends it over my CAT6 cable, and then the other side of it separates it out back into DC current and network connection right there. This allows me to send the cable up to 50, 100 feet away. This cable is actually about 100 feet, CAT5E five solid copper. You should be using CAT6, but I want to do this test to make this quick video to teach you and other users as well. So now I can move the camera around, no issues, you can zoom in. This thing has phenomenal amount of zoom. All right, and then you can pan up, higher, awesome. There, you can go see this camera moving around everywhere. You can kind of show it now, bring it down. And everything in it seems to be working fine. How about uh, panning it around? No issues with functionality. The important thing is the power supply needs to be plugged in to a 110, stable 110 volt outlet. Please make sure you're not running it off a generator or some other portable source of power. This thing is pretty beefy, needs all the current it can to send it over. If you have too long of a CAT5 e or CAT6 cable, or it's not solid copper, you're not gonna get the right amount of current going to the camera. It's not gonna have these fluid movements that I just showed you, it's gonna stutter, or it might actually just not turn on properly. Hopefully this gives you some more information on how to use our 4K Ultimate uh, 48 time zoom PTZ camera. That's by Avalonix. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.